Hi guys! So I am your teacher Brian and today I am going to teach what is ratio. What are the three ways in writing ratio? How to find the equivalent ratio? And two ways in determining if the two ratio are equal. Okay? So let's go guys! Let's learn! Okay guys, before we learn what is ratio, I want you to observe these pictures. Okay? So a picture of balls, basketballs, and a picture of footballs. So my question is, how many basketballs to footballs are there? Okay, very good! For every 7 basketballs, there are 6 footballs. So, what do you call to the comparison of two quantities? Very good! It is called ratio. Again, what is ratio? A ratio is a comparison of two quantities. So, let's go back to our example. The ratio of basketball to football is 7 is to 6. So, in writing ratio, there are three ways. The first one is in word form, which is 7 is to 6. The second one, by colon form, which is 7 colon 6. And the last one, is in, fra in fraction form, which is 7 over 6. Okay. Writing ratio in simplest form. So, by the way, ratio can be simplified. Okay? So, example, write the ratio 15 bikes, 9 skateboards in simplest form. So, we are going to write bikes over skateboards. Is equals to write the ratio as a fraction so which is 15 over 9 and then we are going to simplify so in order for us to simplify 15 over 9 think of a number that is divisible by 15 over 9 it is 3 very good we are going to divide 15 and 9 in 3 so 15 divided by 3 and 9 divided by 3 is equals to 5 third or 5 over 3. The ratio of bikes to skateboards is 5 over 3, 5 colon 3 or 5 is to 3. Well, another example, write the ratios or ratio rather 24 shirts to 9 jeans in simplest form. Okay, shirts over jeans is equals to write the ratio as a fraction 24 over 9. Simplify again. We're going to think a number that is divisible by 24 and 9. What it is? Very good. It is 3. 24 divided by 3 and 9 divided by 3 is equals to 8 over 3 or 8 third. The ratio of shirt to jeans is 8 over 3, 8 colon 3 or 8 is to 3. Simplify the following given ratio. Then write it in three forms. For those who are my students, please send your answer on my messenger. Okay, let's proceed. When simplifying ratios based on measurement, write the quantities with the same units if possible. Writing ratio based on measurement. Okay, example. Write the ratio 3 yards to, 5, to 12 feet in simplest form. So 3 yards 
and feet are in different measurement or unit. So first, convert yards to feet. There are three feet in each yard. So one yard is equals to three feet. So therefore, three yards times three feet. So we're going to multiply. The answer will become nine feet. Now, write the ratio. Three yards over 12 feet is equals to 9 feet over 12. We need to simplify it. So the answer will become, so since 9 and 12 are divisible by 3, we are going to divide it by 3. So the answer will become 3 fourth, or 3 over 4. So the ratio is 3 fourth, 3 colon 4, or 3 is to 4. Another example, write the ratio 36 inches to 4 feet in simplest form. Inches and feet are in different unit, unit of measurement. First, we need to convert feet to inches. So there are 12 inches in each foot. So 1 feet is equal to 12 inches. So 4 feet times 12 inches, so multiply, it will become 48 inches. Now, write the ratio. 36 inches over 4 feet is equals to 36 inches over 48 inches. Simplify. So since 36 and 48, are divisible by 12 we are going to divide it by 12 very good so the answer will become 3 fourth so the ratio is 3 fourth 3 colon 4 or 3 is to 4 okay simplify the following ratio again for those who are my students please answer this and send your answer on my messenger Okay, let's proceed. Finding the equivalent ratio. Okay, to find the equivalent ratio, just multiply any number to the given ratio. So the example is 2, 4, 4 and we are going to multiply any number. Example, we are going to multiply 3. Multiply, so the answer will become 2 times 3 is 6 and 4 times 3 is 12. So for checking, 2 fourth and 6 12, we're going to cross multiply. So 2 times 12 and 4 times 6 is equals to 24 over 24. If the answer is the same in the numerator and the denominator, therefore the process is correct. And the answer is also correct. Okay, in determining whether two ratios are equal, we have two ways. The first is, we need to simplify to, te to tell whether the, the ratios are equal. Okay, so 3 over 27 and 2 over 18. So we need to simplify first the first fraction or the first ratio which is 3 over 27 is equals to 2. So both are divisible by 3. So therefore, 3 divided by 3 is 2. 1 and 27 divided by 3 is 9. Okay, very good. The answer is 1 over 9. So think of a number that is divisible by 2 and 18. So which is 2. Very good. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 18 divided by 2 is 9. So the answer will become 9 over 9. Since 9, 9 over 9 is equals to 9 over 9, Two ratios are equal. Again, another example. So 12 over 15. So we need to simplify. So they are divisible by 3. So 4 fifth is the answer. And the other one, 27 over 36. So divisible by okay, 9. Very good. So 27 divided by 9 is equals to 3 
fourth or thirty sixth divided by nine is four. So since four over five is not equal to three fourth, the ratios are not equal. Okay. Okay. The other way in determining whether two ratios are equal is we need to have the process of cross multiplication. Example. 24 over 12 and 10 over 5. We need to cross multiply 24 times 5 and 12 times 10. The answer will become 120 over 120. If the answer is the same in the numerator and the denominator, therefore, the two ratios are equal. Okay. Next, 15 over 25 and 3 so we need to cross multiply so 15 times 5 and 25 times 3 is 75 over 75 okay again if the answer is the same in the numerator and denominator therefore the two ratios are equal so for my student again identify whether the two ratios are equal show your solution so if you want to answer, please comment your answer below or write your answer in the comment box. Okay, thank you. Okay, that is the end of our lesson. Hope you learned something for the lesson for today. So I am your teacher, Brian, and I hope we will see you on my next video. Kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, Please click the subscribe button and the notification bell para manotify ka sa mga bagong uploads ko. So hopefully you enjoy and have a good day. This is your lesson for today by Teacher Brian.